Hi, my name is Richard and I'm going to show you how to use a salvaged computer keyboard as a physical computing input device. This actually is really easy to do, but I figure since I'm doing it, I may as well share it with the online community. Once you have this device, you can then use it to interface with programs that you write using software such as Pure Data, Processing, Max MSP, and Ableton Live, to name a few. I'm planning on using this device to interface some salvaged organ pedals with the computer to control audio and video. This is the keyboard that I found on the street in Santa Cruz. I was bike riding to the donut store on a Sunday morning and I saw this in the street. So I quickly turned around and salvaged it. It's a uh, the brand is Micro Innovations and it's PS2. So trans Parent circuit thing, which is actually pretty aesthetically pleasing. Poster. Uh, the meat, which is a bad metaphor, because I'm a vegetarian, is this. This tiny little circuit. This is the pay. Now, you see all these little pins? I didn't know what they did. I kind of looked at this to try to figure out, but it's too complex, and I figured there could be no real harm and just poking around circuit bend style. So, to poke around I'm using a pretty standard circuit bending tool, which is alligator clips hooked up to an old multimeter wire. So, stick one. And now, just open a text editor and go like this. See what starts happening. I was surprised to find out that it was very simple. I just put it there, and then a bunch of letters started coming up, and then the power button got pressed a couple of times, but uh, that didn't really bother. It didn't do anything. Change it to here. Some more letters when you touch this. And then start sending it here. I didn't see that great results. All right, just to be thorough, I've hooked this little switch up to one of the keys. Just by using the combination of these and these, I already had enough inputs to satisfy my project's needs, which is organ pedals that I'm going to hook up to the computer. And that's it. It was so simple. Nothing more. Just click.
closes the circuit. And the only thing that's left is to solder some wires here and pretty much make switches. So that's the very basic tutorial. I tried putting this on the organ pedals earlier and it was working, but couldn't figure out the organ pedal circuitry. I'll probably post a video on that once I finish. Careful not to strip the pins. I almost stripped this one fully, but there's still a little bit there. Um, some things to note is what you're doing is replacing the switches within your keyboard with with other switches for input devices. Make sure the interface is plugged in when you're testing, but it's probably a good idea to unplug it when you're soldering your switches or organ pedals or motion sensors or whatever you want to put in there. Um, and since this keyboard is PS2, you're going to need a PS2 USB adapter if your computer doesn't have a PS2 port. This. They're like $5. you're probably going to solder all of these pins or whatever, however many inputs you want to one of these or one or two of these so this is kinda like current and you want it to be transferred to these to activate the switches so you might wanna like solder this to something else where it's easier to solder a bunch of things to this instead of trying to solder like Twelve things to one tiny little pin. Um, hope this was useful for somebody out there to get their project started. Um, hopefully, I'll do more of these videos at some point. Another one is I'm gonna show you how to use your Palm Pilot as a MIDI controller. But that'll come later. Alright, thanks for watching.